When we get ready to set our strokes, we can click directly on the shape. And up in the top, I can click the word stroke. And then I will get a couple more options here. Another neat trick is if you hold down the Alt key, drag across, that will also duplicate your shape. And so you're going to hold the Alt key down and drag across and you can make a copy. So in the first example, under Stroke, I'm going to set um, this cap. I'm going to do a rounded join and I will align the stroke to the center. On the next one, when I click Stroke, I'm going to do a projecting cap. I will do a bevel join and then I can align the stroke to the outside. Finally, in the last example, maybe I am doing a coupon. So under the stroke, I could select a dashed line. I could also choose the amount that you want for every dash, the amount of gap, where it goes. Um, I could adjust some different arrowheads on there. I can scale, I can align, and again, I can also do uniform. On the strokes, you can select the color, you can select the weight, you can also select the opacity. In this example, I went and I used a custom brush called the Denim Seam. In this example, I used the brush called Pine. To do that, you can simply click the Brush Libraries menu. You've got a lot of different options. I could choose border, I could choose any of these options. Then I can simply drag down here and look at the vast number of options I can use to apply. I can always close and I can go back to my shape. Again, I can hold the Alt key and drag across if I want to duplicate. Illustrator also has the bounding lines to help you align things evenly. If you notice, it automatically appears, and it can also help you align top to bottom, right to left. Um, you can also look at the intersect points as well. So you can use your Alt key to copy and drag over if you want to rotate your shape. All you have to do is slowly put your mouse kind of in the corner until it has that double arrow, and you can click and drag, and it will rotate your shape. So again, if we wanted our stroke to be on the outside or the inside, we can just click the word stroke. And up here we have our options to align to the inside, to the middle, or to the outside. 